19-year-old college student really becoming, in some ways, the unofficial voice of body acceptance. Here's the story. Sam Newman posted pictures, these very shots right here on her Instagram page. She's wearing a bra and her favorite boy shorts, little short shorts there. Well, Instagram said no, deleted her account. Instagram says at that point she violated their community guidelines that uh, you're not supposed to share photos or videos that show nudity or mature content. Now, Sam says this is some kind of double standard. Uh, she's seen smaller-sized women wearing a lot less than that, seemingly with no repercussions. How confident can you be if you keep censoring yourself because people don't want to look at you? It was my safe place because when I went there, I could share anything. All right, now, Instagram has since apologized and reinstated her account, and they issued this statement. When our team processes reports from other members of the Instagram community, we occasionally make a mistake. In this case, we wrongly remove content and work to rectify the error as soon as we were notified. We apologize for any inconvenience. Uh, so uh, what, what do you think of that here I, I, as we look at this? Um, let, let's go to Lance Ulanoff. Lance is uh, the chief correspondent, editor-at-large of Mashable. Lance, I mean, let's face it. Instagram does not look good here. I mean, how does that go down? I think a lot of people go, wait a minute. And Tisha Lance is with us as well, by the way. If they think, okay, how is this decision made? I mean, is it just one person sitting in front of a desk making the call as to what stays and what goes? Well, well, first of all, pay, pay, pay attention to what they said there. The, the, um, so basically, the, somebody submits this, and then the community looks at it, right? So it's not like Instagram is trolling its own service, looking for photos that it doesn't like. They will be looking, but they're going to act when somebody somebody basically reports. Okay. So somebody reported here, and then, but somebody's got to make the ultimate call, right, Lance? Right. That's the way it goes down? Yeah, yeah, they've got to make the call. They, they, they have a benchmark. I mean, they, they, if you've ever read Instagram's terms of service, they can, they can kill your account for violence, nudity, partial nudity, discri discriminatory language, unlawful content, uh, they really have the right to do pretty much anything they want to do because you're putting content on their server. I think that the double standard that we're seeing is that obviously if you spend any time on Instagram, you see a lot of stuff that look, you know, stars, for example, celebrities, they're often posting stuff where they're partially disrobed or they're showing a little something, but I yeah. guess nobody's complaining. So somebody highlighted this and they said oh yeah that girl's wearing a bra that's partial nudity boom there you go hey lance thanks so much your thoughts on this natisha I mean, like i said at yeah. the outset instagram does not look great at least the whole process here right right exactly and like you said somebody has to make that final call so they someone may have reported it but they had to still look at it and make the evaluation as a, as to whether or not to shut down the account or take down the picture and this isn't the first time there was that blogger a mom who posted a picture of her toddler um 19 months to, 19 months old and she was pulling up her shirt and she was wearing her undies underneath that woman's account also shut down somebody complained about that one saying that it was nudity violated their policy instagram ended up reinstating her account as well so i think instagram might need to be do uh, better evaluations when it yeah. comes to the reports that are coming in good point